To balance this equation, Zn3P2 plus H2O, this is zinc phosphide plus water. Let's count the atoms up. Three zinc atoms, two phosphorus, two hydrogen, and then just the one oxygen. Product side, we have zinc, just one of those, one phosphorus, three hydrogens. And be careful, we have these hydrogens over here. So two times the one, we have another two. So the three plus this two, five hydrogen atoms. And the two, it goes to everything in the parentheses. So two times one, two oxygen atoms. Okay, let's leave the oxygen till last. Let's balance the zinc, because we could just put a three in front of the zinc hydroxide. One times three, that would give us three zinc atoms. They're balanced. Now we need to update the hydrogens and the oxygens. So for the hydrogens, we have two times one, that's two times three, six hydrogen atoms. For the oxygens, we have two times one times three, so six oxygen atoms. Why don't we just keep going down and we'll do the phosphorus next. Let's put a two in front of the pH three. So one times two, that balances the phosphorus atoms. So we have two phosphorus atoms. And then for the hydrogen, we need to update that because we have two times three, six hydrogen atoms, but we have to remember these hydrogen atoms over here. So we have two times one times three. So that's two times three is six. So we have another six hydrogen atoms over there, 12 total hydrogen atoms. So that's what makes this difficult. This equation, you have to keep updating the hydrogens each time. So now we've got the 12 hydrogens and just two here. Let's just put a six in front of the H2O. That might even fix the oxygens. Two times six gives us 12 hydrogen atoms. One times six, six oxygen atoms. This equation is balanced. And really the key here, make sure you use the parentheses correctly. The two applies to everything in the parentheses. And then watch out, you have hydrogens here and here, and you have to keep those straight. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Zn3P2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.